Hi everyone, welcome back to 3 Minute Theology. Have you ever asked yourself, how do I know what the Bible says is true? Like, can I trust what it says? Firstly, it's completely natural and human to have questions like this, and so let's delve into the truthfulness of Scripture. There are a couple of aspects to this, and we'll break it into three different areas. The truthfulness of Scripture, the inerrancy of Scripture, and the infallibility of Scripture. Firstly, truthfulness has to do with how Scripture corresponds to reality. For example, Scripture says that God created the world from nothing. It wasn't made from already existing materials, but was made from nothing. Also, the truth of Jesus' resurrection from, from the dead is true from the eyewitness accounts that Jesus' tomb was empty on the third day after his death on the cross. But also, much of this truthfulness is backed up by non-biblical literature as well. Historical documents and archaeology back up the Bible's information about historical events like the destruction of Jericho, for example, the exile of the Israelites into Babylon, and the existence of Jesus as a historical figure. Slightly different to the truthfulness of Scripture is the inerrancy of Scripture. Inerrancy means that the Bible never contradicts itself and it is self-consistent. For example, what Scripture says about Jesus being fully man does not contradict what Scripture says about him being fully God. Jesus is both God and man. Some further examples of this is the use of ordinary language in the writing of the authors. Scripture is not written in technical scientific words, but rather how we would understand and speak. And when Moses narrates the creation of the sun and the moon, he says that God created two great lights, one for the day and one for the night. But scientifically, the sun is the one light and the mere moon merely reflects the light. Another proof of the inerrancy is the loose quotations that we see New Testament writers use from the Old Testament. They don't always quote it word for word, but sometimes paraphrase. But the intention and meaning of this verse is always the same. Critics of the Bible often use these ideas and others like it, like the ordering of different events in the Gospels, different translations of Jesus' teaching, and different accounts of the same event. Now, lastly, the infallibility of Scripture is tied to this discussion. Infallibility means that Scripture is not liable to failure. It means that what God intends it for, it accomplishes. For people to be saved through the reading of Scripture means that it will happen. And Jesus proclaimed that God's word is truth in John 17 and it cannot be broken in John 10. And so I trust from this very short discussion about the infallibility or the truthfulness of Scripture and the inerrancy of Scripture that you will be encouraged to trust Scripture for what it says. There's an encouragement for three minutes.